This is Rod from Mount Washington Sewer and Drain Cleaning. We're at number 60 Wilhelm in Glen, New Hampshire. We are 12 feet up the pipe near the foundation. 12 feet 2 inches according to the footage reading. I don't know if it's recording on the phone, but I can see it on the screen. Uh, we did flex shaft a tremendous amount of tree roots from this area here. Um, there is issues with the pipe. It is Bermaco pipe in between the building plus the thin walled PVC pipe. So we're going to perform the inspection back from the foundation. We're coming back. That's where the reducer is. Looks like it's going from a 3 to a 4. Right here it's Bermaco. You will also know this is Orangeburg pipe. Has a life expectancy of 20 years and the stuff is still kicking around. So right in this area here, we did remove a large amount of tree root that's inside of here. So you can run water through here. Um, this pipe is failing. I uh, recommend replacement from the foundation to the septic tank with an outside clean out with the cap at the, um, the ground level for access in the future. Easy to get in case there's any freezing or anything. So we're coming back here. You can already see that the Bermaco pipe is misforming right here. It's starting to fail. It's starting to blister. It's only a matter of time before this stuff fails. Uh, you may get lucky and go and get through until the spring. Uh, the sooner you replace this, the better. Just in case it fails during the winter, it's basically it's a ticking time bomb right now. As you can see, my camera head is just floating on all that blistering that's inside there. So at least a third of this pipe is choked off right now uh, a lot of the stoppage was tree roots that's just a little bit of toilet paper here that will wash out but it's hung up on that bermaco pipe that blistering gets worse right here on the way out it's almost a 50 percent stoppage right there yeah that's pretty rough shape more blistering. Right here, you're transitioning from Bermaco to the thin walled PVC. We had removed a large amount of tree roots from that area as well. Right here, they're starting to push up through the pipe. This will eventually split through, so it's probably settled on a rock. It could be sharp and eventually just going to tear into that pipe and rip it even more, causing failure and allowing roots to get inside also in that joint. Some more blistering right there. Connection right there. Little bit of root that will wash out that we chewed up and we're getting ready to drop into the baffle now into the septic baffle coming up do a little turn around so you know this is your house That concludes the cleaning and inspection for number 60 Wilhelm in Glen, New Hampshire.